Welcome to our video on, 7 ways to building a sense of self-compassion and self-forgiveness. In this video, we will explore practical tips on how to develop self-compassion and self-forgiveness. 1. Be kind to yourself. The first step towards building self-compassion is to be kind to yourself. This means treating yourself with the same care and concern that you would offer to a good friend. Example. Imagine you are going through a tough time. You may tell yourself things like, I'm not good enough, or, I can't do this. Instead, try speaking to yourself with kindness and say, I'm doing my best, and that's all that matters. 2. Practice mindfulness. The second way to develop self-compassion is to practice mindfulness. This means paying attention to your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Example. Next time you find yourself feeling overwhelmed or stressed, try taking a deep breath and focusing on the present moment. Acknowledge your feelings without judgment and remind yourself that it's okay to feel this way. 3. Accept imperfection. The third step towards building self-compassion is to accept imperfection. We all have flaws, and it's okay to make mistakes. Example. Next time you make a mistake, try reframing your thoughts. Instead of saying, I can't believe I did that, try saying, it's okay to make mistakes. I'll learn from this experience and do better next time. 4. Practice self-care. The fourth way to develop self-compassion is to practice self-care. This means taking care of yourself physically and emotionally. Example. Try doing something you enjoy, like reading a book, taking a bubble bath, or going for a walk. Taking time for yourself will help you feel refreshed and more relaxed. 5. Forgive yourself. The fifth step towards building self-forgiveness is to forgive yourself. It's important to remember that everyone makes mistakes, and it's okay to forgive yourself for them. Example. If you find yourself holding onto a past mistake, try writing down how you feel about the situation. Once you've processed your emotions, try forgiving yourself and moving forward. 6. Set realistic expectations. The sixth way to develop self-compassion is to set realistic expectations. It's important to set goals for yourself, but make sure they're achievable and realistic. Example. If you're trying to learn a new skill, break it down into smaller, more manageable tasks. Celebrate each small accomplishment along the way. 7. Practice gratitude. The seventh and final step towards building self-compassion is to practice gratitude. Take time to appreciate the good things in your life, no matter how small they may seem. Example. Try starting a gratitude journal and write down three things you're grateful for each day. Focusing on the positive aspects of your life will help you feel more content and grateful. Building self-compassion and self-forgiveness takes time and practice, but it's worth it. Remember to be kind to yourself, practice self-care, and forgive yourself when you make mistakes. We hope these tips have been helpful, and we wish you all the best on your journey towards self-compassion and self-forgiveness. Thank you for watching our video on, 7 ways to building a sense of self-compassion and self-forgiveness. We hope that these practical tips will help you on your journey towards self-acceptance and self-love. Remember to be kind to yourself, practice self-care, and forgive yourself when you make mistakes. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and information. Until next time, take care of yourself.